Hey there, Power Diary friends and savvy Power Diary users. I'm coming on today to talk to you about a new feature that is releasing within the Power Diary platform. And this is a simple authentication for a client to access a form. Now you're probably wondering, why do we need this authentication? Well, this will help prevent access to a form when a user accidentally sends out a link to the wrong client because the client will have to authenticate themselves before accessing this form. Now, there is a toggle in which you can turn on and off if you want to utilize this extra layer of security. If a client doesn't have an email address or mobile phone within the Power Diary platform, you will not need to enter an authentication to get into it. But if you do and you've got it toggled on, they'll go ahead and then simply put in their email address and be able to access the form. So let me show you how to go ahead and enable this and then what it looks like on the user experience. Let's get started. Okay, so here I am already within the Power Diary system. And now I wanna go ahead and turn on or toggle on the client authentication for a form. So where do I do that? So you go setup, configuration, communication, and right here, you'll see a toggle that says enable client form authentication. You can also hover over this and get a little more information if you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle that on and I'm going to put save changes. There we go. Now, I want to go ahead and inform my clients who are receiving forms that they are going to be required authentication if I've got it in my system. So I want to go ahead and update some of my communications templates that will have these forms on them so that they know that if I've got an email address on file or a mobile number, they will be required to authenticate. If they don't, they won't have to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do tools, communication, templates, and down here, here I got one that I know that, here we go, that already has this, these two forms in there. So here we go. And I've actually gone ahead and already added this in. So please enter your email address, mobile phone number to securely access this form. If you do not have an email address or mobile number on file, you will need to authentic, you will not need to authenticate yourself. So there we go. I'm going to press save. So now they've been informed that if their information is on file, they're going to need to authenticate themselves. And I'm going to press save. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and I'm going to send my client, Lucas, a, here he is. I'm going to send him a new client um, form. So I'm going to go set up communication. I'm going to go new email. And I'm going to send him that onboarding template. There we go. Here it is. It's got all that information in there. If you wanted to change it, you could. And I'm going to save and send. Awesome. All right. So in the next step, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the user side. Okay, so here we are within Lucas's email box, and he has received a communication from us with his new documents. So we got a new client intake form and a COVID-19 screening form. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, it's going to ask him for his email address so he can authenticate himself and gain access to the form. And now he can go ahead and he can fill out that form and it will automatically populate back into Power Diary. Now, he will, with each form, have to authenticate himself so he can gain access to it. So you will wanna make note of that and make sure your clients understand that. Again, this is just for security and so that we know that the proper person is receiving their form. I hope you like this new layer of security that we are adding into your Power Diary system. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.